In this video, I'm going to cover the long run self adjustment. What's the difference between the short run and the long run? In the short run, wages and resource prices are sticky and will not change when the price level changes. However, in the long run, these things are flexible and will change when the price level changes. What happens if consumer spending increases? What's going to happen in the short run and in the long run? In the short run, you have an increase in aggregate demand from this yellow point to this red point and over here on the business cycle graph shown as well. So in the long run, however, wages and costs are going to go up because here we have inflation. So workers are going to negotiate for higher wages and that's going to shift aggregate supply to the left. If consumer spending decreases, what's going to happen in the short run and in the long run? If consumer spending decreases, then aggregate demand moves here to the left. And this point shown here from yellow to green and yellow to green over here on the business cycle graph. However, in the long run, wages and costs will eventually go down. So aggregate supply will shift to the right and we will return here to the same point um, where we originally started or the same output level. Assume there is an increase in consumer spending. What happens to the price level and output in the short run? So an increase in consumer spending results in aggregate demand shifting to the right. So your price level and your quantity are going up. If consumer spending increases, what happens to the price level and the output in the long run? In the long run, aggregate supply is going to shift to the left as workers negotiate for higher wages. And so we're going to have the same output in the long run, but at a higher price level. So price level increases, yet our output stays the same. What happens if consumer expectations fall and consumer spending plummets? What's going to happen in the long run? In the short run, we know aggregate demand shifts to the left here. However, when aggregate demand shifts to the left here, um, there will be an increase in unemployment. So aggregate supply will eventually shift back here to the right. The price level falls and output stays the same. Here's a practice question, and the answer is E. Another one, and the answer is A. Here's a practice FRQ along with the corresponding answers. What happens if investment increase? What's going to happen in the short run and in, in the long run? So if business investment increases, that means they're investing in machinery and tools purchased uh, to increase their actual output. So if their capital stock or their capacity to increase their output increases, then we will have aggregate supply shift to the right and that corresponds to the production possibility curve shifting outward. So there's more resources that are now available and that constitutes economic growth. An increase in consumption or government spending does not cause economic growth. So that's a very important distinction. Only business investment in capital equipment or materials will increase their capital stock and thus increase, increase um, economic growth. 